Hello, and thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Today, I read this, this rare book, The One Thing You'd Save. It's rare in the sense that it has broken every one of the rules that people tell you about writing for kids, and it's breathtakingly excellent. Newbery Award-winning writer and poet, Linda Sue Park, has published many books, historical fiction, picture books, books of poetry, and this book that readers from ages seven to adult would enjoy. This is the book you could circulate before your Thanksgiving or holiday meal with family. It would spur an interesting discussion, much more interesting and much less fraught than talking about politics. It starts with a homework assignment by a gentle, thoughtful teacher. She tells her students to imagine their home is on fire, their family and pets are safe, and she asks them, what is the one thing, the only one thing, they would save as they run out of the house? What follows is the musings and answers and discussions by many of her students that she calls scholars, revealing their interests, loves, concerns, and hopes. It's funny, heartbreaking, sad, and so thought-provoking. If you read it to your kids, your whole or your whole family, this book will make everyone think. It's about the rule baking. It's 80 pages long, too short to be a novel. It's too long to be a picture book. It's fully illustrated like a picture book, but and with calm, detailed city views that do not include scenes of fire. The cover is in color, but all the other incredible illustrations by Robert Seng are completely in black, white, and gray, the color of ash. The paragraph and page structure is unusual. Linda Sue Park explained the structure she uses to base, is based on an ancient Korean poetry form called Shizhou. A Shizhou is three lines of 13 to 17 syllables in short or long lines. The lines do not rhyme, but even to people not familiar with this poetic form, there is an inherent beauty in the spareness of the language, in the way kids' thoughts and resulting decisions are concisely reported in just three lines. And yet, the language is true to how kids actually speak. With slang, with incorrect verbs sometimes, it simply rings so true. The One Thing You'd Save was published by Clarion Books of HarperCollins. You can buy it in most intelligently curated bookstores through bookshop.org that supports your local bookstores or from Amazon on the link I've placed below in the comments section. And check your library. I borrowed this copy from the beautiful new Archer, Florida Public Library in Alachua County. Thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye-bye.